The shadows grow shorter, and with the approach of spring, the schedule of games shrinks to a precious few. With each of them, Penn State seeks to prove to everyone else what they already know in their hearts, that they are tournament worthy. They focus on each individual task at hand under the guidance of head coach Ed DeCellis. And they took on the latest challenge against one of the largest teams they would face all season. The Minnesota Golden Gophers with every starter at least six foot four. Elbow far side, Brooks. Brooks against Sampson. Fades. Good. 32 go. Minnesota. Sampson from the corner at deep two ties it. Top of the key. Open three. Frazier. Good. Tim Frazier. And the sophomore point guard knocks it down. Penn State's right back on top. Frazier is Penn State's only non-senior starter and picked up where he left off against Northwestern when he tied a season high in scoring. Of course, it helps to have the Big Ten's leading scorer as one of your weapons. Frazier stops, back to battle for three in the lead, caught. Perfectly set up again by Timmy. He drove into the lane, took the entire defense with him. 14-13, Penn State, 8.46 left opening half. Battle to his left. Woodyard near wing, spots for three, got it. That's five threes. Minnesota's going to press Penn State the other way. I think Tubby's theory is there's a lot of guys out here that don't play much. Three ball battle, good. He plays he a lot. He plays a lot. He's got 14 points in less than 13 minutes. 22-16. Nice shovel underneath, and the reverse. Squeezes home. Nice move. Steve Kirkpatrick, the walk-on, gets a bucket, forced into the game by the fact, by virtue of the fact that Jones, Brooks, and Oliver all have two fouls here in the first half. Huff Arbor for three. There's the answer. Far wing, Marshall, far quarter, Kirkpatrick. Fast pass to Jackson, lays it in. Nice feed by Kirkpatrick. Steve could be all league if he keeps it up. 26-21. Two teams really in desperate need of this win to try and get on the right side of the bubble. Andrew Jones and Jeff Brooks spent much of the half on the bench in foul trouble, but Penn State found a way with quality bench minutes and a game plan designed to negate Minnesota's height advantage. They shot a season-high 31 times from behind the arc and hit 12 of those, with David Jackson's three sending them to the locker room with the narrowest lead possible. With a national TV audience watching and perhaps judging, the Nittany Lions knew they had to find a way to win this game. Jackson with a ball fake, and it's blocked. But with the shot clock winding down, a three tossed in by Tim Frazier. Sometimes when you don't have any, don't have enough time to think, Bob, you just let it fly. It's more true. 17 to shoot. Inside Jones, fades, basket counts and a foul. Battle on the far wing, 14 to shoot, time of the key, Frazier near wing, Brooks. Brooks in the lane, it goes to Jackson, good move, fades away, go on, he got Iverson off his feet and score. Sampson rattles home a three, that's not fair. He can't be 6'11 and step back and hit a three. And Bakwe comes up short, Brooks the rebound. Let's stay by one with the ball. Frazier, far corner battle, open three-pointer, goal. He's got a three. Tim Frazier is really starting to impress me. The way of his, his court awareness, he knows where Taylor Battle is on the floor at all times. Samson near wing, off over, knocked away by battle, picked up by Brooks, ahead to battle. Battle lays it up and foul, basket counts as a Havisi foul, and the Magic Man does it again. He's got 19, shooting for 20. Every time battle touches the ball, he seems to break some record or reach a new plateau. But to him, it's only as good as a vehicle for winning. Jeff Brooks continued to play with a shoulder brace and did gutsy work inside. The Lions were rolling and led by 10 with under 10 minutes to go. That's a long time in any basketball game, an eternity in a Big Ten game. Minnesota showed their heart and fought back into it with a 13-2 run. For one of the few times this season, Penn State could not control the boards, and the Jordan Center crowd started to fidget in their seats. Austin Hollins hits a three, and what was once a 10-point Penn State lead has been cut down to two. Back to battle, top of the key, straight on three. Good, just when you need him, he produces again. That's why he is who he is. That's 23 for Taylor as Penn State holds on. Off the give from Hoffarber. Well, that's a big three. Backs in, backs in, he's doubled. 
kicks it off and Bakway ties the game at 50. It's possible that more than one game was on the line here and both teams played like it. The lead changing hands four times in the last four minutes. So now Minnesota looks for the lead inside. Iverson lays it in for the lead and Minnesota's up 56-55. Uh, Minnesota really finding the rhythm here. Made an impressive comeback on the road. Hoff Arbor finds a crease. Lays one off to Iverson. Well done to move the lead up to three. Now all of a sudden this is the biggest possession of the game. Down a point for the first time in forever. Penn State down by a point. Frazier to the corner. They set battle up for three. Penn State's heart was too big, its will too strong. And on a magical night at the Jordan Center, the Nittany Lions found a way to close the deal on Minnesota.